Hey, I had a few messages from people asking me how they could participate in this year's Resurrection of Care and how they could do their own DIY Resurrection of Care. So I wanted just to make a quick video to kind of just show how I am setting up for this beautiful um, divine event that happens once a year. And it is in response to the cremation of care. And if you don't know what that is, definitely, you know, content note. It, it does contain a lot of kind of graphic images and it's something really intense to find out about. So I do recommend you're in a good place when you're looking this up. So it's called the cremation of care and the resurrection of care is a response to it where we invoke the love and care back into this world. So my setup is pretty simple. I'm wearing my gown and Fluorite really called that they wanted to be a part of this ceremony and I'll turn the camera around. I have a very simple setup. The setup here is just in my kitchen. I have some elements here, fire, some earth, air, water, and I have some divine support and I'm going to be making this beautiful essence here. Here's my Bobo Quartz point and I'm going to be going over which um, essences I'm going to be using. So this is a divine green Tara essence made by Vanessa Ancient Pocket and Say Wan Ho. This is so powerful. Um, I've been really working with this for the last few months and it's been really transforming so much. Um, so I'm really happy to include that. I'm also including some of this divinely delicious pleasure activist um, potion made by Adrienne Marie Brown and Dory Midnight. And if you don't know these powerful witches, I definitely recommend you look into them. The, this pleasure essence is so utterly magical and delicious and brings all the fairy magic and connects you to all the queer mycelial webs. So wanting to bring that in. And then I started to make essences myself. So I am bringing in some oak essence that has been really powerful, really helping me feel restored and ready to work on projects. And also to have the energy to continue to do this work as we know so much is happening and it does take a lot of energy to continue kind of moving in a spiral direction. And last, I'm another, well, the first essence I ever made is called Rainbow Vision, and some witches have posted about it. I've only made one um, batch of these, but this um, is a wonderful combination of some of the kind of wonderful teachers that I've been working with in the flower essence realm. Um, for example, it has dolphin essence, which I received from Say Wan O. There's yucca, eucalyptus, um, datura, rue, some of the essences that have really been helpful, some plant allies that have been working with me. So a lot of gratitude for all of these essences and the magic that they bring. So, um, and I'm also, I'm forgetting one last ingredient. It is very cold here in Tulsa, and there's almost, I would say, no, um, plant life that's really very much alive except a couple of certain plants um but i thought you know in order to bring some live plant magic into this space i'm going to be working with some power greens <laughs> with some kale and some chard some spinach uh really working with that powerful green vibrational magic the green tara magic so you know which is just know that you don't have to you know buy the special potions or you know have the special plant really it is about intention as many of you know and so i love working with greens so definitely invite those greens into your ceremony Next, find a way to activate this powerful care potion that you're creating for yourself that you're going to be sending out into the world as you're doing this DIY resurrection of care. Um, I am going to be invoking this energy with some beautiful words that have been written by Eliza Swan on this I Am Care pamphlet that has come from <laughs> one of the um, last resurrection of care. And here's what it looks like. <laughs> so take a moment, take a deep breath. Connect with your body. Connect with the earth. Connect with the ancestors. Invite in the guides. Connect with the entire universe. You are part of the web. You are all energies. Blessed is care, is life, is love. Blessed am I. Care has risen. Care is love. Care is here. I have risen. I am love. I am here. Blessed is care, is life, is love. Blessed am I. Care has risen. Care is love. Care is here. I have risen. I am love. I am here. Repeat as many times as you want. Say it over and over and over again. And then charge that water, sending the intention into this divine bowl, thanking the plant allies for their support in this powerful process. Traditionally, you know, these essences are charged in the moonlight under the sun. And, you know, you can be that sun, you can be that moon, you can send your divine energy towards the bowl, you can use the candle as a source of energy. Just set that intention, shine down your light. 
And so now that you've made a mother essence, you can really work with this essence however you want. You can use it to charge your own water. You can create potions for your friends. Um, you can also use it to program water in cities through, you know, sending it down the drain, down the toilet. You can give it to local plants or animals. Really work with care in whatever way feels right for you. And see this as an as your own form of self-care practice, of community care practice, and share it with your loved ones. So um, thank you so much for being a part of this DIY resurrection of care with me. I would love to hear how your experience goes. Um, I'd love to see your own videos. Um, yeah, thank you everyone. I love being a part of this web with you all. Bye.